Winter time came fast on the island of Sodor. The engines had to work very hard to work across the island because of the snow. None of the engines particularly liked snow, but Molly did. But with snow comes avalanches, and with avalanches comes accidents. Molly crashed into the snow. She had to go to the steamworks for a while. Luckily, she wasn't too hurt, or her crew. But she was there for a few days when Hero found her. Oh no, Molly! Um, I'll, I'll go get some help. So Hero chuffed away with the workmen to go get some help for Molly. The next day, Edward was at his station talking to Sir Topham Hatt about his job. Okay, sir, I will do that. Why? Okay, never mind. Bye. Bye. Now don't you try and slip. Don't you slip, top em. I'm vintage, you know. That night, Edward got to the sheds very tired. Edward, I saw you at... Wellsworth, they talked into the night, but during the night, snow came. It snowed very heavily, so heavily that the snow, the tracks that were already cleared, got snowed on again. And Thomas and Edward were in their sheds fully, so they got snowed on too. I can't believe we have to do this all again. I was hoping to get my snow plow off today. When his fire was lit, Thomas's boiler melted all the snow, and he went to go clear the lines of snow. I'll help you today, Thomas. The same happened with Edward, which they were happy of, because then they kind of also got him a little wet for... But kind of like a wash down, they thought. Thomas and Edward had to work very hard. It snowed, and because they didn't clear some lines yesterday, the lines that didn't get cleared yesterday was very, very heavy snow. Thomas had to go on his own for a little bit. He accidentally went down the wrong line. I'm going to try look at this later. And he went on his way. Thomas came back after he was done clearing the track. Time to, to look at this line. I'm excited. I filled up on everything, so we're good. Thomas cleared the snow. It was super heavy and high. He had to use a lot of coal and water. But luckily, whenever he needed more water, all he did, all he needed was to get some more out from in the snow. He went through a tunnel. He had a lot of trouble getting out of the tunnel, though. When he got to one last part, he stopped in amazement. Oh my, it's Proteus! Yes, Thomas, it is. It's me, Proteus. H how are you here? Well, uh, I got stranded here after the Mitsodor closed. These are some of them old Mitsodor lines. Yeah. Oh, wow, I can't believe it. Well, I have to get you out of here. Let's clear some of the more lines for you. Okay. That's better. Now I can get you out of here more easily. 
Nah, this is your awesome help. Oh my goodness, Proteus, that was cool. Now, nah, thanks for my magic lamp. Meanwhile, at the tunnel that Thomas came by, there was trouble. An avalanche was happening, and it was not going to be good for Thomas and Proteus because it covered it all the way to the top of the tunnel. When Thomas and Proteus got there, Thomas almost derailed. He luckily pulled himself back onto the track, but they didn't know how they were going to get through it. Thomas first tried to back his way through, but since he didn't have a snowplow on his front, it was very hard. He should have turned around. Then I could have pulled you. It's okay. Let me try. The snow started to disappear. A little by little, it started to disappear. It took a little more time than Proteus thought, but it's because he hadn't done it in a while. He had no need to. So Thomas went back into the tunnel, hoping there was no avalanche on the other side. Luckily, there wasn't, and they got home safe. Thomas shunted Proteus into a shed, into the siding next to the shed. You can stay there until we find Sir Top and Pat. I might have to tell Edward about you. That's okay, Thomas. I'd like it if I didn't have another engine to talk to. Then to gave... Hi, Edward. Um, Thomas, what's wrong? Uh, Edward, I would like you to meet Proteus. Proteus? Y- yeah, I... <gasps> Matt's coming. Okay. So, okay, let's make it like we were just talking normally. Did you hear about the accent Molly got into? Who's Molly? Get back, Proteus, hurry, okay? You really are a bad driver, Topham. You really need to get better. You know, it's been a while since we drove you, Elizabeth. Hi, Sir Topham Hat. I had something to tell you. Um, so I was plowing snow today, and I found this line. Um, it turns out I was on one of the Minnesota lines. How do you know this, Thomas? Well, I found Proteus. Proteus! Hmm. Does all matter? Are you okay? N- yeah, ow, my top hat and I mean my head. Did you found Proteus? Yeah. Well, I'm very proud of you, Thomas. You will get a new coat of paint tomorrow. Maybe you should, uh, I'm going to tell Sir to handle about this. No, sir. Let, can I tell him? Yeah, Thomas. I got to go, though. I have more important business to talk about. Okay, bye. Okay, I hate shunting. Ah, oh, great. See, frozen points. That is why I hate winter. Hi, Thomas. Hey, Sir Handel, I got a surprise. I got a Christmas present for you. What is it? Well, why don't you talk to him yourself? Talk to who? Exactly. Who could pry in? (gasps) Proteus! My long lost brother, hang on! Hi, I missed you so much since the old Sodor days. Hi, Falcon. Uh, it's now Sir Handel, but it's okay. Oh, uh, it suits you. 
Thanks. Well, I think maybe we should pull this train together. Do you want to? Yeah, we can. But we need to get a crane first before we can do it. Unless. Hey, Proteus. Yeah? Could you put him back on the rails with your lamp? Yeah. I guess. Okay. Um. Let's switch to the other line. No, let's just go this way. This way's easier. Okay. And here we go. Well, that's good. Fine, you can be in front. You're sure? Yeah. I need to get a turntable first. Well, okay, that works too. Oh my gosh. I've never flown before without a crane. That felt weird. Okay, let's go. Bye, Thomas. Thank you.